Hey guys, so welcome back to Wild and Basic. I can't believe you're down this far and I can't believe I have been keeping up with this podcast so far. Honestly, every single day I'm just as shocked as you guys are. So today, we're going to talk about a topic, another topic that I kind of feel like I am shooting myself in the foot to talk about it because it's something I struggle on like, not like regular basis per se, but on like ongoing basis because it comes here and there. Comparison. Social comparison. This is something I struggle a lot. Like, I tend to compare myself to others or other people in my life or other people in my career. I think most of it is like definitely other people in my career. Uh, and that's something I am definitely work on and but it's also something that I struggle with and I feel like that will be important to talk about today especially if you are struggling with it and hopefully this will be an episode to talk about and this is gonna come off more like in an aspect that like if you are someone who struggled with uh, comparing yourself to others or like you are someone still struggling with comparing yourself to some other people in your life um, it's kind of like experience of talking about it, but also some ways that I am, I guess, like coping with it. Uh, I feel like there's so many self-talks out there just to say that like, this is what you should do, this is how it goes, this is how it will work, but I just don't think that there's enough talk about what it feels like and how you are kind of like dealing with it. Because I think solution is one thing, but there are sometimes also just, you just want to like, be like, I know that I'm doing this and I accept it, but I am still in the stage of like dealing with it, not in the place to like fix it yet. Because I feel like that stage sometimes comes later, but sometimes I feel like we just wanna hear it, we just wanna deal with it in the moment, rather than just like letting that not to, um, I don't know, like letting that like stop us. Because sometimes I feel like you just cannot just fix that overnight or even just fix that at all because if it is part of our identity or if it is something that we grew up with, which is something I would say personally because I feel like comparing myself has always been a thing because ever ever since I grew up or ever since I've known myself, whenever I was with my parents or... Um, whenever I would get like a lower grade or even like somewhat of a higher grade, uh, my parents would always be like, oh, do you know, like Jack got this grade or um, Michael got better grade than you or like they did this, but you didn't. It's like it constantly being reminded of like what others are capable of versus like what I was capable of. And obviously that was embedded in my brain and that's one of the reasons that <laughs> Like, I feel like it was always there for me, comparing myself. It just come, it just became so natural, almost like, like second nature. But I feel like um, that's one reason I want to talk about it again. I have definitely talked about it before. Social comparison, I think you can check it out before, like in the other episode. Uh, but I think now I want to talk about it more in a perspective that, like, it's not necessarily something that I can fix right away but some of the ways that I am dealing with it so that it can help me uh, with my growth, but also I can focus on my own journey instead. So long story short, that is what's going to be the topic today. But before that, let me tell you guys a little bit update on today's episode. Uh, Well, today's episode, I mean, little update on (laughs) my weekend. I feel like this is something that I talk about here and there, like little life update, weekend update. I'm going to call it an update or a life update. Yeah. So this past weekend was Cinco de Mayo. And honestly, like, I feel like every single Cinco de Mayo, I've either gone out, like, celebrated, but never in a way that like, I was, like, blasted. I know some people <laughs> always find a way to just be like, oh, like, I... <laughs> Uh, it's Cinco de Mayo, like, let me celebrate, let me do this. Obviously, it's something that, like, a lot of us, like, celebrate, or not even just a more to celebrate, it's more like find an excuse to just 
do something. It's just, just like get drunk, honestly. That's kind of what it is. So that's what I would see that. <laughs> but I think this my this weekend uh, was my first time obviously celebrating Cinco de Mayo in Miami. So it was interesting, honestly. Like because if I would have expected to be, I guess, like a lot wilder. It wasn't as crazy as I expected. Because I feel like sometimes even in New York they do like a parade or something it does kind of get crazy. Not in a sense that like it's like partying aspect, but like city feels like there's so much going on. There was definitely a lot going on in Miami, but not because of Cinco de Mayo, but I think it's because of the Formula One. There were like a bunch of events that were going on, like so many stuff was happening with Formula One. And I did not even realize that this was like a big thing personally because I've never really gone to Formula One. I got one of my invitations and that was like was like a not was a company that I have like worked maybe like five years ago. So I had no idea that that was like even a thing. Like it's becoming like another Coachella for creators or influence I mean celebrities too. Like I, I, I saw a bunch of videos of like people going to like a Ferrari Casa or like I don't know, some bunch of other, um, uh, Alfa Romeo Casa, like there were so many like um, parts that like brands created their own experiences uh, for creators and celebrities, but I didn't know it was a thing because I've never gone to Formula One and I don't know much about, I know about cars, but I don't know much about car racing, so I wasn't sure like, if that would be a good match for me, so I didn't even try, honestly. Uh, but. It is good noted that I also just want to tell you guys, like, Formula One is, like, huge, apparently. At least this year. Like, I didn't know it was, like, that big because I was never in Miami at that time, but Formula One is definitely a huge event. There were so many people in Miami. Like, Elon Musk, I think, like, a bunch of, like, famous celebrities, Shawn Mendes. Like, there were so many people that were, like, in Miami for that. And I think one clarification also I would make... <laughs> They advertise it as like it's in Miami and some of the posters I even saw like it said South Beach. It is not in Miami or South Beach. Yes, it's in Miami area, I guess you could say that. But it is in actually Miami Gardens, which is like I think, I don't know, just 30, 40 minutes outside of LA. I mean outside of LA, outside of Miami. It was like outside of Miami. Uh, cool. Is it like kind of, kind of like... What? What is it like? Kind of like west of Miami, something like that. Uh, yeah, it's not like in Miami. Just want to clarify that because I feel like people think that like you're just gonna go to South, South Beach and like you will just be able to see it. There's not enough space for that. It is like further out. Put that out there. Um, one last thing I would mention, and this is something that I never thought that I would even like. I don't know. I feel like. I'm definitely new in the dating scene, and I'm not even in like dating apps per se, but I feel like I am just kind of testing my testing the waters and just testing myself out per se because I feel like I have all since I've always been in a relationship most of the times, like one relationship after another, only short breaks in between. I'm going to use this time more to focus on myself. And some of the things that I experienced that's just something I've never experienced before. Mainly it's because like, I feel like dating is so much slower paced in my in New York. And in a way that like it's just like a lot of people I mean I guess if, even if they wanna date or even just a hookup, I guess per se, it's very different. Like it moves very slow sometimes, unless you are on apps per se, but like if there's an interaction that's in person, it doesn't just like right away turns into something else. It takes like a while to get to a certain stage to even like meet them or go get a coffee, something like that. I think it's so different in Miami, at least so far from my experience, people are very, very blunt. Like they're super upfront with what they want, which at first I was kind of like, this is like, yeah, it's nice. Like, it's like they're honest with what they want. But then I also sometimes I feel like it can come off like just too much from my experience because I'm like, can you like dial it down? Like, can you chill? I don't know. Like, can you chill for a second? I don't know. That's what I thought from my experience because I was just kind of like, uh, I don't know what's going on. Like, 
very recent experience, and this person is not even from Miami. I think they're this person was from Long Island or something. Uh, we were like practicing our volleyball, and this guy joins us for play, like for a volleyball game. Then afterwards, I guess like he was getting some people's Instagram, and my friend was in next to me, so he gave me his phone. Then like I put my Instagram. Then. The time goes by, like literally I check it by the end of the day because I didn't notice it, it went to my request folder on Instagram and, well, section I guess. So then I check it, it shows like, uh, he sent me like a picture and at first I was like, I don't know, what kind of picture this? Then it shows like it's like a location, like where it is at. Then it says like, um, <laughs> I think he's like trying to say like, oh, I'm here because I don't want to say the whole message because it's like, it's not that kind of podcast. It's not. <laughs> but I'm just going to give you guys like the idea of that. He's like essentially telling me like, come here, like hit me up or stuff like that. I'm just like, damn, like I, I didn't even have like a sentence with you. I didn't even like talk to you. The entire reason I even know your name is because like everyone you had the, like, someone asked your name in the team and that's how you know, like, I don't know you. But just, like, it's so interesting, very, very interesting how, like, direct people are. And that just, like, I respect that, but I also, like, kind of, like, I don't know, like, amazed by it because I'm just not used to that experience at all. Um, at least from my experience, like, I just, I don't know, it's, like... Usually I take like, I expect people to go through multiple loopholes, loops, loopholes, I mean loops, to like be like, hey, hi, how's it going, like more conversation and that will take maybe a couple weeks, then afterwards it goes there, but people are here like, I just want to talk to you or I want to just do this. That is a very new experience for me and just wanted to share that. Um, yeah, that is a little bit of update. <laughs> now let's get on to today's episode. I think it's so different for everyone because depending on how you grew up and how your parents were or how your environment were, um, I think it is definitely bound like at one point that you're going to feel, like compare yourself to other people. It's just bound to happen, especially if like it starts probably in school that, you know, you're with your um, peers or, like, your classmates and, like, I guess maybe some of them do better than you and, like, you not necessarily, like, immediately start just like, comparing yourself. I feel like it might just come up. It's not necessarily something that, like, it just uh, happens right away. I think from my experience, I know that I have, uh, I have a, somewhat of a competitive nature, somewhat not, like, completely per se. I think my biggest thing is that sometimes if I'm questioning myself, like just I guess what I'm doing and also on top of it like what I'm doing in my career sometimes, then I guess it's the comparison starts like going out of control a bit. I think that's what I have noticed sometimes because I think biggest thing for me uh, from my experience was that like if I'm comfortable with what I'm doing and how I have been doing I don't tend to just look for uh, or look at what other people are doing even if I see it it doesn't necessarily affect me per se that is my experience but I think what happens like there are times that when things are a bit slower or when there's not much happening or I don't know or I feel like maybe things are not not as great as it used to be or just not as great overall that's when I start to question myself my like what I'm doing but also that's when I also look at other people that like oh like if someone is doing better or if someone is doing like this is like why am I not doing better and I have asked this question myself so many times because I feel like as much as there's so many like things I have wrote down about like how to stop like comparing yourself to others and I just don't want to make one of those basic ones be like do this, do this, do that, like practice self-care, like practice gratitude or like pr 
practice like I don't know like focusing on yourself like um, practice like appreciation like, there's so many ways that you can definitely work on that for sure and I'm telling you guys can look this up very easily and that's not what I want this podcast to be I want to share it from my experience that like why that actually happens because I'm not saying that like this is not detrimental because it obviously is because I feel like any sort of comparison can be bad for your growth, like your personal growth, but it can also be bad for your mental health and self-esteem. And I think there are all some, some of the things that are kind of like interconnected. One can not just like work without other because if your mental health is not in a good place, that obviously affects your self-esteem. And if you're struggling with your self-esteem, that's also going to contribute to this behavior of like comparing yourself to others just kind of come with it what I have realized though I feel like from the very first thing that like definitely everyone has their own journey everyone has a different journey even if you are even if you're in the same career path as someone else you still have a different journey that is just like I feel like it has been so hard for me to accept so many times. I feel like usually I'm kind of like, okay, I'm like, I understand that. I'm kind of like accepting that. But I have sometimes come to a place that I'm like, no, it's not that different. Like I have come to like that you know, toxic air part of like behavior or toxic behavior that like, oh, like, no, it's not that different. Like, you are obviously doing something wrong. Like there's that voice in my head sometimes that comes up. But I feel like I have looked at it, this is just something I would say from my experience, that I think there are many times that I could think that like, oh, there's a, a creator who has the same following as me or the creator that I've known for so long, but they, have, they got a wire video. Why I didn't get a wire video? Or they did this, why I didn't get this. They got this partnership, but I got different partnership. Or they maybe got paid more, but I didn't get paid more. Like, all of these things can definitely affect you more. And I feel like it's just mainly because, because there's so much discrepancy in this industry, for sure. But also, I feel like there's discrepancy in every industry, per, for sure, as well. Because I feel like... Someone has a higher salary, other person have lower salary, but they might be doing the same exact job. That is how sad it is, honestly. But it is the truth. It really is the truth. But again, that's why I feel like it's so hard to sometimes not compare yourself. And I'm not making this episode to say that like it is okay to compare because I feel like it's just bound to happen for sure. But I feel like you just have to gotta stop yourself when it becomes super toxic. Because I feel like maybe you can use that as a motivation technique for yourself. But you cannot use that to beat yourself up. Because that is when it gets pretty toxic. Because I, I learned this, at least I am learning in a way, that there are many times that I would have been able to maybe do that if I didn't have certain struggles. Because... As much as it might look like someone might have accomplished things more than you, but they might have they have different circumstances. Everyone has different circumstances. Because I think there are many things that we might be struggling with or we might be going through with uh, behind the scenes and that might be causing us a lot more damage than we might have expected. Because I think uh, I remember even from my experience that I would say to myself, there are many creators that they've gone viral or they have, they have started almost the same time, but they have gone bigger places, but because they just focused on that and that's why maybe that worked out different for them. But for me, it was so different. While I was building my career, I, I was doing like the, uh, I guess like being a content creator, I got my degree, I got, um, I was like freelancing at the time, then I also got my master's degree. There like so much happened along the way that I couldn't necessarily picture, be like, oh, this is 
like I, I just put my whole soul into it because technically I didn't. I feel like that's why sometimes it's important to be super honest with yourself that like did you really put all that effort or did you all do that? Not to like make yourself feel bad about it, just so that like be realistic with your goals because I think they those people might have different goals and that's how I did it. They did it. But I know from myself like this is so true for me is that like usually my growth in everything in my life so far has always been steady slow and steady i have never gotten anything in my life i wish i did but i never did uh like quickly i have never maybe a couple videos of mine went viral but I never went like that viral that it got crazy I never had anything that gone super quickly for me it has always been like slow 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 growth steady it has always been like that and I feel like I've come to the terms with that that like that's just how it is for me at least I am growing I am working on it and the same thing with my like business too it's like it has always been like that it starts small it has never been like skyrocketed all of a sudden I'm understanding that but I think sometimes it's it can become uh, harder when uh, th there might be I feel like everyone has their triggers like everyone does because I think as much as we say that we don't but we do uh, there are times that I don't know maybe we are looking at someone's profile or when we are like seeing something in in person or in real life that might trigger certain things about ourselves and that's just like sometimes I feel like it's so easy it comes almost naturally but I know usually that comes and this is like just an like observation I'm not trying to just say that like oh my god like you are doing this to yourself but usually it comes if we are feeling insecure about certain part parts of our lives uh like either i don't know like relationship part or um like ourselves personally like how we are feeling about ourselves or physically or career wise if there is something that we might see we might start to compare ourselves for it like very perfect example would be my um, physical appearance. Um, I feel like I'm not exactly in a place that I'm like, oh my god, like I love my body for it. But I feel like I'm kind of in a place that I'm like, oh, okay, not okay with, not comfortable with it, but I would be like, I'm okay with it. I would see people, but I'm not exactly be like, oh my god, like feeling bad about myself. I'm kind of seeing like, okay. They look like that I that could be my goal I use that as a motivation but I don't see it in a way that like I feel bad for myself because I know that there are so many factors goes with it because especially something like this physical look is like you can understand like there's genetics involved there's steroids there's so many things that people take that make a difference for them and versus like how it would look on me so I'm just saying like everyone has a different formula that is sometimes helps to understand that that's why i feel like i can kind of justify myself as the physical look but i have never been like I, I haven't been always like that i feel like there are many times in my life i was super uncomfortable with that and that actually kind of affected me so much mentally but i feel like i have passed that stage but i feel like now i'm more in different <laughs> areas in my life that sometimes i could feel insecure and i think that nine out of ten comes with because being, I don't know, like having a business sometimes, especially like having a business that it's just solely focused on you. And uh, that could be so many moving factors, so many factors that that could essentially affect you, uh, affect your personal life, but also affect your business because everything just depends on you. Sometimes it leaves you in a place that you constantly analyze everything in a way that like that could become very toxic and that's why you start to compare yourself to other people's businesses it's like so easy in that department that's why i feel like it is hard to just like kind of let it go and be like don't compare myself like uh this is my own journey like 
I'm gonna live my own journey. Yes, like easier to said than done, but I feel like this is usually comes because you feel insecure about that thing. Uh, and that's why I feel like sometimes like it is important to, the way that it calms me sometimes is to like look back at like how I started or what it was earlier. And that's like the, I guess like another way of saying that practicing gratitude because you can understand like what you have accomplished so far. From my experience, I realized that like if I feel I am accomplished or if I feel like I am not, I am stagnant, I'm not doing so well and I start to compare myself, I try to look back like how I started and how I started with nothing and how things are going now that kind of gives me somewhat of a comfort that like, wow, I have accomplished these kind of things. And so I can like move forward with what I want to do. That kind of gives me a comfort. But I think the main reason I wanted to make this episode is to show people that like, it happens. Like it is okay to like accept that, you know, like, yeah, you compare yourself to other people. I like sometimes we see it more in a way that like, oh, like, Oh my god, like I shouldn't compare myself to other people. To do this, do that, do that. But I feel like it's so normal. Like it's like part of being human. Uh, but I feel like the way I, the reason I wanted to make the episode is so like you can understand like how complex this feeling is. It's not as easy. It's like don't compare yourself, focus on your own journey. But it's like it's hard because I feel like the way the society and everything is made up is like you go to school. You are with a bunch of people, a bunch of kids, and like then you go to college again. You are with a bunch of people, and like yeah, who are in a similar, uh, sometimes in the same major as you. Then you're in corporate, you're working, or even like you're not corporate, self-employed. There are a bunch of other businesses, right? There's always people who might be in the similar field as you, so it's very easy to compare yourself. And especially like I feel like studying business taught me so much about like because you do so much analysis and like so much case studies about other businesses and your competitors, sometimes that gets so much into your brain that like, you're like, oh my God, this business is doing that, my competitor is doing that. You start to compare yourself to your competitors sometimes, which is, I feel like sometimes it's not really healthy either because you want to create your own product, own journey, own experience without thinking what other person has done. I guess it's good to know as an information, but I feel like when you're constantly looking at it, you're not going to create something original. And that's what I would say in life as well. That like when you're constantly comparing yourself to other people, you're almost like you're analyzing your competition. And that's not healthy because you're going to try to look like them or be like them, which is not the case because you are your own person. And it's hard to find your own voice and find yourself. But I feel like if you start just like looking at yourself versus like looking at other people, that kind of gives you the comfort to achieve whatever you want in life. On that note, I'm going to end the episode right here. Uh, I hope you guys like this episode. If you do, please don't forget to follow us on Apple Podcasts or wherever you get your podcasts. And I'll see you guys next week with another episode. Bye, guys. Bye.